Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. This is Dish and Chips. We got the dish. We're gonna have lots of fun today. Mm -hmm. Eating some fries. <laughs> Welcome to Dish and Chips. Wait, we already welcomed them. <laughs> Welcome part two, because I kept silent that first welcome. I know, that was very strange. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm taking a seat. It's because during today's episode, <laughs> Jocelyn is going to be giving me a haircut. Haircut! Time to change up that weave! Okay, also I just want everyone to know um, what I'm cutting with. <laughs> There's Betty some Crocker. Nice Betty Crocker scissors so shout out to Betty Crocker for bringing our next sponsor. sponsor thank you Betty <laughs> we love you we love all your recipes and even I think Betty did what we've advised everyone and that is subscribe, subscribe. and leave your comments below <laughs> so during today's episode we're also going to be answering questions on the internet by picking different random answers while Jocelyn's cutting my hair so I'm gonna go first <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pick two numbers I have a four and a five, so 45. All right, Jocelyn, feel free to start Cutting. as I'm like moving around. Okay. <laughs> so, question 45. This is to you, Jocelyn. Yes, I'm ready. What is one thing women do that grosses you out and men? What's one thing that grosses me out? That with... women do and then one thing that grosses you out that men do. Um, okay. I, d I was just trying <laughs> to put this in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> grossest thing that either one can do no actually I know exactly what this is what the grossest thing any guy can do is a burp and then blow it in your face <laughs> I have done that before yeah that's a legit and thing and I said what I have for breakfast <laughs> <laughs> okay that's like real true though <laughs> alright we'll stick with that one just pick a random number yeah. and then I'll answer that one okay um I pick 91. 91. Scrolling all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says, would you rather be a judge or a lawyer? That one's easy for me. I would definitely rather be a judge. I feel like that's already my calling in life is to judge others. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true, though. <laughs> but for their benefit. I feel like I'm a very fair person. <laughs> my best to help them become the, their best selves. I don't know about that. <laughs> that is so So I would choose a judge. All right, Jocelyn, I'm going to choose number 12. Okay. And it is, what are two things you would do if you woke up to find yourself completely invisible? What are two things I would do? <laughs> yeah, what are two things you would do if you woke up one day invisible? Um, I would walk around naked. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> because if you have clothes on... What is this? <laughs> if you have clothes on, I feel like you'd just be walking around. Oh, that's clothes. true. So I would walk around completely naked. And would you how... spy on someone? Absolutely. <laughs> I would 100% spy on probably all my friends. Ooh, yeah. that would be spooky to think about. Yeah. All right, give me a number. Okay, I pick... Um, 52. Also, Lenovo, thank you for your sponsor. This laptop <laughs> is Yay, treating Lenovo! us so well. Okay, so you say 42? Yeah. One, what one toy do you wish never existed? That's for me. Let me think. Yeah. One toy that I wish never existed. I mean, I'm going to go with the obvious, the Jack in the Box, even though I never had a Jack what? in the Box growing up. Why? Because they freak you out. They're spooky. It's da 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 that stuff just freaks me out. Okay, I've seen a couple Winnie the Pooh movies where the Jackboxes like comes Winnie to life. Winnie the Pooh, Woo. Winnie the Pooh, Woo. something, 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 something. It's soft and squishy like a bear should be. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that. Also, I, yes, it's no, you know what you're doing. Yes, I know. Guys, I'm doing. getting a little nervous. By the way, that. I also cut his twin's hair and I gave him steps. Yeah, and then they had to shave his whole head. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The haircut went so wrong with the steps that Jacob, his cousin, or his brother, whatever, not his cousin, his brother <laughs> ended up shaving his whole head. And anyway, that was That was a bad experience from Kess. So I'm going to go number 22 because that's how old I am, even though I look way younger. Which Disney princess do you find to be the most attractive? The Disney princess? Yeah. Mulan. Moana? 
Mulan? Moana. Mulan? I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know her. <laughs> Who is Mulan? What? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know who Mulan is. Mulan is my queen. Alright, give me another one. Um, a hundred. Ooh. Who would play me in a movie? I think either Ryan Reynolds or Ryan Gosling would play me in a movie. <laughs> Sorry, are we married? <laughs> I gotta go. Where's the door? Okay, I honestly think... Uh, yeah, probably Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Gosling's a way better guy for you. <laughs> I think Ryan Gosling would play Nate in the movie. And then Jocelyn would be played by Kate Hudson. Oh, I hate Kate Hudson. <laughs> I love Kate Hudson. I hate Kate Hudson. Okay, it's not even your own question. Okay, okay. I'm gonna guess number 52. Who would you hate to see naked? Nathan Smith. <laughs> I don't blame you on that one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, actually, I'll keep that answer. <laughs> okay. Okay, give me a, give me a number. Um, seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. We're gonna get. We're gonna trim these sideburns really quick. Okay. Also, God just speak. warning you. <laughs> okay. If. I could be on the cover of any magazine. Which one would I choose? Well, Playboy's already reached out to me and they want me to be on the cover, but I declined for moral reasons. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go with either Times as Person of the Year cover or Forbes list as one of the richest of the year. Forbes. Yeah, that would be my Mama, we made it to Forbes. Oh, Mama, we made it to Forbes. Oh, Mama, we made it to Forbes. Oh, Daddy, we made it to the Forbes. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, G Easy, for sponsoring. <laughs> and subscribing. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we're going to do, to, you know, speed things yeah. up. We're going to do a speed round. So I'm going to ask a question. We're both going to answer it as fast as we can. Okay. One thing you refuse to share toothpaste. Uh, my feelings. Oh, perfect. What is your biggest regret? Um, my pet bird got insane. murdered when I was younger, and I didn't stop it. Stop me! Have you ever pooped your pants? Yes. I have never pooped my pants. Me neither. What is the funniest movie you've ever seen? You, me, and Dupree. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> I knew it, and I hate that movie. I don't even have a favorite movie. Go. What's the worst job you've ever had? I've loved all my Working jobs. Working on dish and chips? <laughs> And she's worked at call centers before. No, the worst call center is Sykes. Hate you, Sykes. How many slices of pizza are you capable of, capable of eating in one sitting? Probably four or five. Honestly, same. <laughs> do you do you have a favorite smell? Mint. I love the smell of mint. If I could smell like mint, I would. I think lemon. I used to buy mint shampoo. Oh, I love mint Oh, shampoo. what's your favorite viral YouTube video? Dish and chips! Yay! We're not even viral yet. Would you slap... <laughs> would you slap... The other person, so would you slap me? Would I slap you for a hundred dollars? Yes. <laughs> easy. Yes, easy. I would do it for twenty. What? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if someone wrote a biography about you, what do you think the title should be? The Life the and the queen? Lies. The Life and the What? The Lies. Oh, yeah. Because I lie a lot sometimes. Yeah, mm, a lot. Um, have you ever chased down an ice cream truck as an adult? Yes. Yes. Describe your own personal heaven. Quiet. Being by myself, no one else around me. That is so rude, you're covering my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, mine would be the same. Any, like Maybe a like library. a beach. Have you ever been scared enough to wet your pants? Yes. That's been shared in embarrassing stories, and that wasn't even being scared, you just wet yourself. That's true, but I, I used to pee my pants a lot, you guys. Confession. <laughs> What is something you're currently obsessed with? Hunger Games. I love the Hunger Games. <gasps> Murder Mystery Podcasts. Yes! Okay. Um, if a theme song played every time you entered a room, what would it be? Um, Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift. Oh, mine would be... Who's that sexy thing? Walking mm -hmm. over here. Hey, wait. That's me <laughs> sitting over here. Yeah. Okay, uh, what phobias have you overcome in your lifetime? I used to be afraid of roller coasters. I Definitely used to be afraid, afraid of heights. And, and I went on Six Flags, went on a ton of rides. I, could, I never did the Superman ride, though. It was still too scary. Do you think dogs go to heaven? Yes! Okay, last question. If you could go on a cross-country road trip with a famous person, dead or alive, who would it be? Gordon Ramsay! Gordon! Gordon! We are planning our vacation to come visit yes! your new restaurant in Vegas. Love Gordon! Hook us up with that V-I-P!
B. I. P. Can I get a V? V. Can I get an I? I. Can I get a P? P. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. We we love you guys. And I've learned a lot about you today, Jocelyn. Like what? I don't remember what your answers were, but when I rewatch your video a couple times, because I'm probably <laughs> like, so, I'll be able to remember this one more. I learned I'm amazing at cutting hair. Is it done? Yeah. I'm really nervous to see what it's No, like. it's really not bad. I mean, I basically just asked her to chum up my ears, guys. Yeah, it's true. I you think we're good. Don't cut anything else. Well, this has been another successful Diss and Chips episode. Don't forget to subscribe! <laughs> Okay, bye you guys. I'm not turning that off. <laughs> okay, I guess I will. <laughs> guys, look at Jocelyn. <laughs> look at the haircut she gave me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fee. I can't pay you for this. If you guys like it, make sure you let me know. Give me some love. I need it. I need all the love I can get. Okay. I gotta hide my giant forehead. <laughs> yeah, now. I was gonna say, in the last video we just tried to make, he said, why does my forehead look like a billboard? <laughs> <laughs> it's iconic. Bye, guys.